Hi strangers, welcome back to another bitchy kitchen episode. Find out what we get up to today. This is a little update to show you what I have got up to in my kitchen. And I'm having a bad hair day. I'm having a bad eyebrow day. It's a bad day. I've got the wash machine on, it's loud. The kids are back at school so I can get to work properly and get this done. There's the rug, they're all rolled up because I've been busy painting again today. Today I have done some skirting boards and some other little bits of painting that I needed doing. So I haven't really got up to too much in here. I didn't want to bore you with another painting video so let me show you a few things that I have done around my witchy kitchen this morning. I put up my new broom. I had to use cable ties. I rewrapped my vines around the pipes. I also managed to frame my lovely picture I got from a coven box. I love this image so much. The difference between medicine and poison is the dose. Hi guys. Yes, I'm back in the kitchen. And today, hopefully, it's going to be my last ever witchy kitchen video, unless I get more stuff. So, let's carry on, shall we? So, I've been out this morning and I popped to the pound shop to pick up some more bits to finish this kitchen. So, we have a pack of paint brushes, they're from the pound shop. I killed the last brush so I had to get some more. I got some lights. They are meant to be outdoor solar panelled ones but I thought that might work in the kitchen because it's quite bright. I brought this downstairs so I could put that somewhere in here. Also my new things I got the other day so my glass. I love this. new oil burner and my little cauldron and of course my mug cauldron which I am looking forward to having a nice tea in in a minute I found this in the pound shop this only cost three pound so I was hoping maybe my spoons might go on here. So let's try one. That's my spoons. I was hoping that the holes, the holes at the top will fit in here. <gasps> yes. Yes, they fit. Cool. Also, I have been looking into how to make these darker. So um, I'm gonna give that a go as well in a minute. They look darker today, I don't know whether you can see that. But yes, this is to hang my spoons on, so I'm going to put that up, hopefully. I also brought my other mug down. Look at that. I love that mug. Sorry about the noise, the washing machine's on as always. Also, you know I can't resist spiders, so I found these in the pound shop. Some spiders. Spiders. And I picked up some more vines because I've used all the four packets that I brought. So I got another two of them. And also I have a hole in the kitchen on the floor and I need to finish painting the skirting boards. So I got some of this to try in the gap. So come along with me. Let's see what we get up to in the witchy kitchen today. So I don't know how this hole got here, but my cats have scratched a massive like hole in our skirting board um, so I'm going to try and use this gorilla filler to fill the gap so I can sand it down and then hopefully we paint it I'll just attach the nozzle and give it so 
while that's drying, I'm going to take a look at my herbs. They did go a bit downhill and some of them went brown. I was thinking they were going to die, but since I've moved them over to the windowsill in the kitchen, they seem to look a lot healthier. So I'm just going to cut off some of these um, dead bits. Mint's normally meant to be a really good plant. If you kill it, it can normally come back. So I'm hoping with a little bit of love, it will come back. And there's still some green there, so fingers crossed. You can still even see where the seedling went in the pot. Right, it's not very old at all, so hopefully. Give it a good water now. Get all the dead bits. Does it fit in my cauldron? That's the question. Yay, kind of fits. Might get like some different plants for these later on, but for now I just wanted to put something in here. So I'm gonna give this some water now. So my basil looked very bad at one point and I thought I was gonna lose it, but as you can see, looking a bit droopy, but I think it's going to be okay. So I'm going to cut some bits up there. I think I was watering this in the wrong place. I never know too sure what to do with herbs. I was really good at them at one point. I had a whole massive herb garden, would you believe? Thinking it was all outside, I'm finding it much harder to grow them inside. So let's get rid of all this. into my herbs. I love having herbs. It's really, really handy if you want to do a, a spell and you've got some some herbs around or you want to you fancy cooking something and putting some herbs in. It's great. So that's how that I'm going to Yeah, I think this has gone funny where I've been watering it from the, the top. Hopefully, now it should be okay. I'm going to give it some more water. That looks much better. So, I've just been looking online, and apparently, tea is a good way to stain wood naturally. So, I have made myself a hot tea bag stew in my new cauldron mug there. And also made myself a nice herbal tea as well. So let's crack on and see if the tea can stain these. As you can see, I kind of ended up just dragging the bag over the, dis over the design to see if it would make it darker. They're still wet at the moment, so they look darker than what they probably would dry like, but I'm hoping the after effects will be good. Maybe I should have left the tea a bit longer. Um, we'll soon find out. Experiments. It's painting time again here in the witchy kitchen. I have to do a second coat over on these two back walls. And then I think I've finished all the grey and then I can put up my new spoons and things. 
excited. Talk to you in a minute. Okay, so I've just finished painting up here and I have been listening to Lincoln Park. It's making me feel a bit sad really, but I love Lincoln Park. But I just find it so sad to listen to now. So anyway, we'll get back to painting. There's only one thing you should know. I tried so hard and got so far but in the end it doesn't even matter so yes gone crazy from the paint fumes i think yes i'm getting there i painted all this all this find your exit here So as you can see we have done quite a bit in the kitchen after all today, we've got a lot done. Thank you so much for coming along and watching this video. I am wanting to do a few more things around the kitchen. There's some hanging plants that I've seen that I really would like to get and yeah I just hope to see you in the next video. Hopefully we have a completely finished kitchen but I'm very happy so far, I'd love to know what you think. And don't forget, be weird, be yourself, and be different, because we're not, we're just boring. Well, I think I've done all I can for today, and I think we've done really well.